Hello again. We have reached to the module seven of this tutorial and I'll show you what you will learn in this particular module. So I will demonstrate some of the features uh, of Jupyter Book, which you haven't seen so far, and we will also wrap up. To recap, you have been introduced to the Turing Way and Jupyter Book projects. Uh, you have created a Jupyter book locally with the Turing Way chapters. You've learned how to structure your book using the doc file. You've also learned how to configure your book using config file. You have seen or also created an executable file using Jupyter book binder, and you have uh, used GitHub action or at least seen how to create one. In this module, we will learn how to cite an external resource like articles or blogs or anything which is online with a DOI or without a DOI. Uh, you will learn how to cross-reference resources within the book, for example, referring chapter one and chapter two and vice versa. Learn how to add and configure images. You, we will also use collaborative workflow from the book to visit GitHub repository so we can invite our readers to contribute and help us improve the materials. You should have already seen what my ST Markdown flavor is, uh, which provides a lot more dynamic feature into the Markdown in Jupyter Book. You've explored some examples of your Turing, uh, of your Jupyter Book using Turing Way chapters for this particular uh, module we will be only using overview chapter. You should have visited the Turing Way online. If you haven't, please take five minutes to do so because those would be extremely useful to see how any of the things that we are going to introduce in this module are helpful. So at this point, you should have a GitHub repository for your book and you should be considering to host it online or you both probably have already done it. The learning outcome of this module would be that you will know how to use Sphinx feature in Jupyter Book for referencing resources. You already have references.bib file, which we will be using to create a bibliography on your online book. We will cross-reference chapters and section within the book by using labels. We will also create figures in the chapters that can be cross-referenced. We will show you how to use collaborative workflow to read, edit, and export chapters from your book to the GitHub. So with that, I would like to thank you for sticking around with us. And before I go, I would like to acknowledge some of the members who've been instrumental for this tutorial and the project. So thanks to Martina and Sarah for working with me on designing and developing this tutorial, Kirsty for providing support from the Turing Way, and Chris for providing support from the Jupyter book. Both the projects are community driven and they cannot exist without its community members and developers. So thanks to them. And you're very welcome to join us um, in these projects. Further links have been provided in the notebook, but you can also visit uh, this presentation that I'm sharing with you. With that, all the best and uh, see you somewhere.